Hello and welcome to this week's platform meeting. It's August the 27th and I'm putting the agenda into the Pansumo channel. Alright, so uh, we have action items from last week. Uh, it's still about uh, the roadmap. Uh, so I've talked to a few people in our one-on-ones about this. But if there are still people out there who want to uh, put things on the roadmap or in the next quarter, uh, please see me this week. So next week I would like to come up with a plan uh, and present that to you uh, for Q4. Um, and then it gets harder to shift things around. So if there is anything you would like to have, please let me uh, know about it this week. Uh, even if you don't have it uh, uh, fully sketched out yet or you don't know exactly what you want, just let me know uh, what the issue is and we can uh, come up with a project plan or just um, see if it's something we can put on the agenda for uh, Q4. With that out of the way, let's have a look at the roundtable and notes. Um, so there is one thing. Uh, Firefox for iOS status update. Um, so I'm not sure how much of this. Uh, I will talk since yeah. whatever. Yeah, whatever. Uh, if you're an NDA Mozillian and you are curious, please ping me or Tony or anybody on this call who knows about it. Um, if you're not an NDA Mozillian, all I can say is we are very, very, very close. <laughs> to releasing in a very, very, very small country. And, yes, that's about it. And Nithman, Kadir, Michael, Shoni, me, who else is involved? I don't know. Our, uh, we're all, uh, all hands on deck getting ready for this very, very, very imminent launch in a very, very small country. That I'm sorry for the vagueness, but if you, again, if you're an NDA Mazzoni, you can ping me or Mikhail or Joni or Rachel. Uh, they know this, or Madalena. They know the story and would be willing to share. Right. Um, so then to just check from our side uh, that we are ready. I think um, we have two open bugs for this, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah, uh, AAQ and uh, something else. <laughs> I don't know, I'll have to look at the bugs today. I sent Mike an uh, email about our status for the platform just last night, which you could hear and you were on it, and everyone who was NDA was on it. Um, <laughs> I'll make sure that you actually have bugs filed, uh, Mythmon, because I know that you guys don't work with emails, you work with bugs, correct? So you need bugs. I believe we do have the right bugs, but if you don't, I'll, I'll continue. Yeah, yeah um, we have like three bugs uh, open right now that uh, should be ready in time. All right, um, so just to be sure, adding um, the adding topics to Firefox for iOS, uh, but uh, Michael, that's waiting uh, for us to add the topics, right? Yes, um, and I asked Rehan, and he said he was working on that. Um, so, uh, what, what do you mean he was working on that? Like, um, maybe I misunderstood. I thought you were waiting for uh, like for Joni. Or oh no, no, that. sorry. Um, I don't. I I think we were going to go with the list of topics that was already specified in the bug. Um, sorry. Oh, right. uh, uh, when you said we, I thought you meant uh, sumo dev, uh, which is okay. wrong. Well, uh, thanks for clarifying. Uh, so you put a link okay here, or I'll put a link. Somebody put a link. To, oh yeah, that. The topics bug, which Joni can take care of, right? We don't need Rayon or Mythmon to do, right? Uh, no, uh, that does require code changes to update. Um, th uh, there's already a list of topics provided in the uh, in the bug, and those were from April. So, uh, just a quick quick once over to make sure those are still the topics we want to use would be appreciated. Okay. Okay. Yes, we will give you that up. Joni, can you comment in the bug? Yeah. Today, these are the right topics. Yeah, I'll do that. But is there is there still so I don't need to do anything for for adding topics in admin at this point for iOS or um, the topics that you want used uh, need to be like 
in, in the admin, but you can't add them to the ask a question flow yet. Okay, got it. Uh, so, Joni, um, I think I put that in the email, but uh, in case I forgot, uh, so if you um, add those uh, topics to the admin, uh, you also have to make sure that they are assigned articles. Um, right. Because otherwise it will break the ask a question flow. I'm not sure if I put that in the email, just uh, making sure that. Um, no, but I figured you said to assign articles, but you didn't say anything about breaking, but I, th I guess that's pr uh, pretty obvious. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's the Ask a Question Flow uses those articles to suggest uh, topics or suggest those articles to users. And on mobile, which is where we're most concerned about this, um, if there are no suggestions, it kind of just stops and the user can't do anything. Which is okay. bad. Yeah. But anyway, we can experiment with this on stage. Yep. Next. I eat my name. Okay. Or some other time. <laughs> yeah, some other time. You never know. Uh, so, but Mike, with that, I'm assuming that we are still on track to uh, push this out uh, either today or tomorrow? Uh, my plan was to have it uh, code reviewed by Friday and pushed out on Monday. I think that's a good plan because we may be pushed out further for other reasons. So why rush it? Okay. All right, so that's uh, Anything else for our... Uh, round table. If not, uh, quick look at our roadmap items. So, buddy up and then. Um, making progress here. I think there is one more, sorry, two actually. Um, that's left for buddy up and uh, 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 that we know of. Um, and Mike, um, Marsha actually filed that back for uh, the blank profile page. Um, I'm not sure if you've, okay. seen, if you've seen it because she said she would email us, but I think she forgot. Um, uh, she, ping she pinged me in IRC, and I saw the bug mail anyways. Okay, so if you, if you can uh, give that um, estimate, uh, that would be our highest uh, priority. Um, well, actually, it's not. It, it's our highest priority after I have a Second highest. Very close to highest. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, so, but with that, uh, what we're actually going to do is once we have that done, and they, uh, we have another round of uh, um, QA, and nothing else turns up, up, next week we are going to hand this over to the external team. Uh, to the external team that's going to do the RTO work. But our work is essentially done at this point uh, once, we, once we have that fixed. Um, and yeah, so the original timeline was to um, hand that over at the beginning of September, and we are on track with that. Unified Ask a Question page. Um, so I think. We are getting there. Uh, this is the, um, I mean, we will get there once, once we're done with the iOS part and the uh, body up and then, uh, pieces. Um, so if you look at Edwin, actually I, should, I think I should make Edwin part of this uh, either pad if I haven't done that yet. I haven't done that yet. Okay. Is our prioritized backlog for those who uh, haven't seen that yet? So I think that either pad as well at the top. And there you can see that um, right now at the top we have the Firefox uh, for iOS bugs, and then uh, together with Buddy Up, uh, Buddy Up after the bugs, and then after that we have the um, unified Ask a Question flow. Um, then we have mobile articles page. Uh, so for those, uh, acceptance criteria are still needed, and that's on me. So that's the next item for me to get that done next week. Um, and then we would, should be uh, ready to go with that uh, in one of the next, I think this two weeks from now, more or less. 
and that leaves us with the optimized product landing page. So this is now in uh, testing. Um, a quick update on this. So this is uh, preliminary. This isn't uh, not writing this down anywhere. Uh, but uh, from the variations that we've tested so far using optimized engagement wise, so which means that the click rate out uh, somewhere. Yeah. It's the blue angels. Um, engagement wise, although those variations are very different from our original page, they aren't that different in terms of engagement. Like for I think three of them, there is no very no difference that we can detect at the moment, and two of them are doing slightly worse. But we are talking about like one percent worse. Like 1.5% worse in that area. Um, so engagement-wise, there, there is no difference, essentially. Although they are very, very different in terms of like um, what they look like and how they, um, the number of uh, items on the page, the number of links on the page, they're very different. But engagement-wise, they're very similar. So our, it might be um, that um, there is a confounding issue, like something that um, that has more to do with like people not actually wanting to be on, on the support website and aborting the process. So it doesn't even matter what the landing page looks like. We don't know about that at the moment. Uh, what we are more focused on is actually once people click through, how helpful do they find things? Um, and that's going to take us a little longer to, to, to get a, a significant result. Uh, because way fewer people actually vote uh, compared to those who just click through. Um, so because we have five variations plus the original, it's going to take us at least one more week to uh, get results that are actionable there. Um, so yeah, that's where we are at the moment. So we need to wait another week uh, to get uh, more data. Then we can make a decision. Um, if we have a winner, we will go with that. If we don't have a winner, uh, we will try different articles, uh, more targeted articles, more ta uh, like tailored to the issue of performance and stability, um, and then try again. Um, yeah, so this is right now in the testing uh, stages. If we find the winner, then we can just go ahead and implement that right away. So fingers crossed, hopefully we'll have a winner by next week. Yeah, there isn't much that we can do at that at the moment than just waiting for people to work. All right, uh, so that's the last item that we have on the roadmap. Um, anything, any questions about the roadmap or any items on the roadmap? Or any comments, anything you want to know about this? Okay, then we have specific back discussions, but I don't see anything there. Any last minute items? Nope. Then this is a very oh, wait, short. Wait, 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 wait. No, yeah. I wanted to bring something up. <laughs> I just wanted to wait until the very end just to just to get everybody's two minutes because you have all the historical knowledge that I don't. And I didn't want to start an email thread because I just wanted to have a very quick picking of brains. We've been discussing or we've been having discussions in the background about ENUS, ENGB, and so on and so on. And I just have a very quick question and people can just give me the answer in two sentences. Uh, was there ever EN without anything else? That's my main question. Uh, Maybe. No. Yeah. Not, not in the current FIMO. Um, and also a note, it would take a very large amount of effort to change the code to support just EN as the default, yeah. unfortunately. No, uh, as I imagined. OK, cool. That's precisely what I needed to know. That's why I waited until the very end. OK, cool. Great. Is it normal in the localization world just to support EN? I've never heard of that, but I suppose it could happen. We're Mozilla, and it all depends what, what products you have, I guess. But yeah, Kadir, you were saying, sorry. Yeah, it really depends on uh, whether you have stuff that's uh, language dependent or locale dependent. Um, so th it, it can be that, uh, that you just care about uh, the, the language itself, and then uh, in most cases, you will just go with EN. 
Uh, but sometimes it also depends on, uh, like the, the product that you're offering depends on the location of the person. And then it makes a lot more sense to go with ENUS or ENGB or um, all the other variations. So we, we have actually dropped that for a number of our uh, locales, like German, for example, or French. Uh, German has DE, French has FR, Spanish has ES. Um, but we haven't done that for ENUS, and I think it was for historical reasons. Uh, but I'm not exactly sure anymore why. Okay, I, I also needed Mike's comment that it's going to be unbearably technically difficult to do anything about it right now, so let's just wait until we move from Kitsune to Kitsune 3.7 or something in 2020. Or is it going to be like this? No, I mean, no, it really makes sense. Yeah. Um, something that wouldn't be as technically difficult would be uh, like an ENGB um, uh, locale, but that would be a localization problem at that point and a community yeah. problem. Um, yeah. We have the ability to do to do mappings in search terms, don't we? Yeah. So synonyms, you mean? Yeah. So yeah, maybe that should be a project around uh, figuring out what synonyms uh, between the two languages are and populate those into our search terms. I would be very surprised if there isn't already like a list for something like. There must be, like, uh, um, so this between British English and American. But we're very surprised if not. So we have to do that uh, from scratch or reinvent the wheel. Yeah, we can definitely research that. Okay, cool. I, I needed more of a technical background. Thank you very much for this. That's all I needed. All right, cool. Uh, anybody else? Anyone? There's five. All right. Well, that's uh, this week's platform meeting. I'll uh, see you all again, hopefully, next week at the same time. Take care. Bye-bye. Ciao. -bye. Ciao.